faithful God, our Father, Lord and Counselor. By your grace, you know our name before we are even born. By your grace, you call us your own son and daughter. By your grace, you give us an eternal purpose. Father, thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name, Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Monday, October 16, 2023. This is your word. Taking you open heaven, a guide to close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah song will never cease our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is real grace. Real grace. I remember the first time find find in the book of Romans 6, verse 14. I read, For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For you are not under the law, but under grace. There are many preachers today who say that once a person is saved, he or she is forever saved. So the fellow will go to heaven even if or she keep committing sin. That is a big lie. My own Bible says clearly in Romans 6 verse 15, What then? Shall we sin because we are not under the law, but under grace? God forbid. Real grace enables you to live holy rather than permit you to commit sin. What is the grace of God does? It's to give you ability to live above the details of your flesh. It is by grace that you are saved. Ephesians 2 verse 4 to 5. After that, the grace of God that brought you salvation will then teach you to live holy. The grace of God that brings great salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly laws, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the presence world. This is true work of grace that the Bible talk about in 2 Timothy 1 verse 9. I read, Who has saved us and called us with an holy calling, not according to our work, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. Please ignore anyone who tell you that the grace of God allow you to come in sin. Ignore them. That's the message from the hell or devil. Carefully put together to send many people to hell. The devil knows that no sinner will enter into heaven. So, he carefully crafted this message for Christians to assure that they continue to sin, even after responding to the altar call. But he fell over you in Jesus' name. I repeat, the devil fell over you in Jesus' name. I have had big men of God argue with me over the subject and each time I tell them, let us assume that you are correct, and once I have given my life to Christ before, even in sure, even if I commit a sin, that may if rapture take place, or we both die, we both go to heaven. But if you are wrong, that may if rapture take place, now or we both die, I will go to heaven, and you will go to hell. Either way, I'm still correct. I would rather choose the safe path. What about you? Are you on this safe path? And are you on the right road? Brethren, I want us to read the book of Titus, 2 verse 11 to 12, and a Bible in one year, Mark 8 verse 9, our hymn in 8, and indeed every hour, and indeed every hour. Our key point for today. Grace is the enablement to live above sin, not permission to commit it. Grace is the enablement to live above sin, not permission 
to commit sin. And I pray my Father in heaven will give you the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Brother, this is Love World. Till I come over tomorrow, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. Share with your friends and family. And goodness of God will never leave your life. Have a nice day and bye for now. God bless you. Happy New Week. Now